personalization is a real hot topic at the moment and doing variable data in metallic when printing onto a foil substrate is something that is not exactly easy to do. So think about this, when you're doing variable data onto a metallic substrate, you're having to create a white ink mask. So as you see on the screen here, everything that's silver is the silver substrate and all the white area is the white ink mask. So if I change this name here to a different name, let's just mark that in now, let's call it Mark. You can see that the white ink mask had to change. Now doing this manually, the old fashioned way, you have to make a manual white ink mask for every single change. So if you had 100 labels you're printing off with 100 different names on, you'd have to make 100 different white ink masks. So what we're gonna show you now is the power of color logic. We've created this design here. We're doing this all inside Illustrator. So we're using Adobe Illustrator's variable data fields. Very simple, easy to do. Import your CSV file and then tag the different categories. So let's just quickly show you how this is built up. So in the background, we have a variable color box. So this is a color chosen from the color logic swatch book. And it's just a CMYK element part of that. Next, we have a variable metallic pattern. So that's one of ours from our pattern effects library. Next, we have our static artwork. So this is something that's not gonna change. And then let's just switch these back on so you can see the rest. We also have a variable place of birth. That's gonna be kind of like a bronze metallic. We have a variable date of birth. That's in a gold foil metallic. Then we have the drink type. And then we have the person's name. Now also to just to highlight that this here, this text, this has been created using color logic. So inside here, we have a key line here. This stroke is our dimensional effect with a gold, with black framing and another gold frame. So it's not an actual font. It's been stylized using the color logic tools. So what it means is that we can change that to something else later on. So let's just show you how this works. We've already tagged all the files in here. And if anybody wants to know how to do this, we're gonna make another video to show you exactly how we created this file. It's very, very quick, very, very easy. So what we're gonna do is now cycle through. So as you can see here, the background here, the patterns change, the names changing, the date of birth is all changing, which means the white ink mask is automatically being generated for you when you use color logic. So we're gonna cycle through a few here. You can see the pattern changing, but it's not just the pattern that can change. We can change the color as we said before. So now we've got color changing. We've got variable pattern changing. We've got variable gold text. And we can even go up one step further. We can change the product name. So that product can switch and change depending on what you're actually putting on the press. All done really easy. Now, all you have to do once you've generated the file is basically export it. So we're gonna export that out now. And if you'll just see down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it's gonna go through and generate the files and create the PDF files for us. So that's it. We're done in seconds. All you have to do, use ColorLogic, the color palettes, pattern effects, and Adobe Illustrator's variable data fields. <laughs>